aside from the, the fact that there was political disturbance and turmoil at the time, brought about not only material uh, deprivation, but brought as well, imperceptibly, many psychic, emotional, psychological damage to the country, especially to the Filipino youth who had nothing positive to look forward to. And it was the genius of uh, the late Chairman George T. to instill and to uplift the damaged morale uh, of the Filipino youth uh, through art. So he wanted to do something to mobilize the energies of our young people. So the predecessor of the Metrobank Art and Design Excellence was really conceptualized by him. He was the one who started it in 1984, the Young Painters Annual, the main painting competition in 1984. The paintings generated by uh, MAID are able to uh, be a reflection of uh, the tensions, the conflicts, uh, the joys, the harmonies, the sorrows even, the despair, and the celebration of the Filipino psyche. In the 19... 80s, you see a lot of our entries going into social realism. The art scene uh, then was so different. Uh, there were only few people going to our uh, art exhibits. My process is uh, traditional. I do a lot of uh, studies uh, before I work on a big canvas. I won second prize in the oil category in uh, 1988. At that time, I was uh, very active politically. That piece is a um, commentary on leaders who are abusive uh, to its own people. It helps to be introduced in the galleries during the 90s as an award-winning artist. And uh, it gives you the opportunity to have a show in the mainstream galleries. Down to the 90s, for example, where even the issues of the 80s continued to be pursued, uh, there were certain aspects of, uh, shall we say, existentialism. In 1995, when I came in, I reviewed what has happened since 1984, and I said, maybe we can consult the young artists. So we, we put up the Young Painters Annual. The art scene kasi noon, siguro five times smaller than the art scene now. Palagay mo ng from 8 to 12 in number of galleries. Tapos, walang internet, walang cable, walang cell phone. Nagsisimula siya sa idea, tapos gagawa ko ng drawings. Sa ngayon, gumagamit na rin ng, ng computers para dun sa mga metal frames. Kasi maraming bahagi yung trabaho. After that, susubukan siya sa loob kasi isa scalp pa siya. So maraming trial and error sa sa gawang ito. Yung biyahe na yun, papuntang Antipolo, doon ko nakita yung image na yun, parang fish eye. Tapos naisip ko, ito, magandang painting ito. Ito yung sasali ko sa Metrobank. Last trip, gabi na kasi noon. Ano. Pag Metrobank winner ka, parang kang Miss Universe. <laughs> May corona ka ng isang taon. Ano. Towards the uh, turn of the century, uh, you can see the manner by which the young Filipino artists are looking outside their own country and being influenced by other uh, developments, idioms being done in, in the art centers of the world. Then we also saw over the years the introduction of technology. And so uh, we decided to get involved in architecture and interior design. Uh, winning the MAID competition back then was very crucial and helpful in allowing me to be exposed to other platforms. You know, we just need to do all these different things to give, uh, you know, more depth into our social ecosystem, to contribute to, you know, different ways of responding to the world. I usually go out to where the people go, and that's where I find the most interesting things. I find pleasure in kind of transforming these familiar objects into something unfamiliar and have uh, the, the people who, who see them and uh, observe them uh, realize this, you know, from something strange and uh, upon close inspection, it's something very common, apparently. 
The piece that I made for the maid competition back in 2005 was called Cradle. It was a sawdust sculpture that was built over a, a wireframe. And uh, it's a technique that our mentor back in Philippine High School for the Arts, Mr. Roberto Fileo, as a way to uh, create cost-efficient sculptural work. Positive creative production is just a very human condition which uh, everyone needs to at least try maybe once in their lives. Next start pala mag boom yung art. So tingin ko maswerte kami ng lahat kasi nando kami sa tamang oras, tamang panahon, nag boom yung career namin lahat pati yung mga friends ko. Lalo na ngayon kasi ngayon mas marami ng gallery, mas marami ng collectors, kumbaga mas marami ng lugar kung saan ka pwede mag-show. Nag-observe ako madalas kung ano nangyayari sa akin o sa paligid ko. Lalo na kapag nagkakram ako, hindi ako makatulog. Tapos parang, ah, bigla lang pumapasok yung idea. Pero kapag kasobrang ang dami ko naisip, lahat sa sinusulat ko kasi hindi talaga ako lagi inspired. So at least kapag wala akong maisip, tumitingin lang ako doon sa mga sketches ko or doon sa drawing ko or kung ano nakasulat sa phone ko. Yung title niya patungo sa so watercolor on paper. So yung ginawa ko, uh, ulo siya ng aeroplano. Tapos katawan lang siya ng parang stick lang. Tapos nilagyan ko lang siya ng blue color kasi worker. Um, kasi ako yung nagtutok para sa Metrobank. Yung mga tao na nakikilala kong bago, yung mga bata, yung mga sudyante. Nakakatuwa kasi nakaka-inspire ka ng iba. Through the work that we do in the foundation, our program made, we were able to utilize art for advocacy work. Art is a very powerful tool. It is not simply a reflection of our national soul, but it has the ability to ignite social change and cultivate ideas. Art describes identity of a developing or developed nation. It expresses how an artist feels and thinks at that particular moment. And uh, art also describes who we are and where we're going. I had very equipped professors in art high school that made sure that we learned the value of art uh, as a tool for change, something that evolves depending on the issues and concerns of the community. I'm not comfortable that it's positioned only to the privileged few. A lot of people should engage with the work, pero sa lipunan natin, parang kulang pa siguro yung pagkalat sa kanya. We have always looked as made as a competition. Over time, there is a responsibility to the young artists as a whole. So we decided to programmatize our intervention for young people and we introduced the IDEA framework, inspiration, development of skills, exposure, and application. We wanted in the long term to develop our young people, so we have institutionalized incentives, program improvements every year. Something that we'd like to continue by bringing them to art spaces, not only the institutional ones like museums, but also in malls where people congregate. And that should be part of our advocacy, bringing art closer to the people. Young artists need to uh, focus on their art without uh, any distraction. So I suggest made no? to create an artist uh, residency program to provide uh, the artist studio space and uh, allowance for art materials and uh, living expenses. I'd like to think that art and artists are catalysts of society. I view our artists as producing new realities, new narratives, new ways of looking at things. And that is the history of me.